So, I got the Metcon 5s. Finally, I've been ripping through Metcon 4s to actually show you. I've um, had my 4s for quite a while. <laughs> if you've seen my story, there's a hole in the bottom of the shoe. Kind of like the toe is starting to come out, like coming off, peeling off, you know, and you kind of want your shoes a bit too much, but you don't want to buy some new ones. So the toe's coming off of there. They were a decent shoe. Buy them for like a year and a bit. And now, coming in from sports shoes. I did buy these, I'm not sponsored. Unfortunately, even a few of those vouchers. Mm, you can return, that, return them at Asda. Asda's literally like a five minute walk up there. The magnificent Metcon Hobbs. No, Metcon 5 training shoe. Size 9.5. I went for a 10 with the old Metcons, but the feet start, the shoes start to stretch a little bit after a while, so went for a 9.5. And uh, this is it. What comes in the box? Some paper. And then you get these bad boys. So these are like the inserts into your insole. It's an 8mm insert. It says wall ball thruster so it says wall ball thrusters and squats so it obviously recommends that you put them in when you're doing wall balls thrusters and squats unfortunately none of those have been in the open there so that's far oh, thrusters sorry yeah dumbbell thrusters they might have helped um so i went for the black and the gray um unfortunately with the old sole like the with it being white that's why i went for a, a, a darkish sole it started going a bit yellow and pretty disgusting and shit i didn't want that so I went for bog standard black and grey. Um, I really do like these Metcons compared to the old ones. At first I was like, they look a bit too much like Jordans, you know, of the whole, this kind of thing, that's all I can say. With the Jordans, they kind of look similar to that. Whereas the old Metcons were not as vibrant as an arch as these ones, especially on the inside. But I really do like these. Um, the style of these are more simple, in my opinion, more simple with a, a low key Nike um, logo swoosh at the back. Both years. And then you obviously have the sole being as simple. But the thing that sells it for me is kind of the, the comfort of these actually as I as I put them on. It's a nice snug fit onto your feet compared to when you usually do wear shoes. A lot of people find it hard to break in shoes, but for me, I put these on like I put these on this morning and the literally instantly I felt like I could literally just go and train them as I'm gonna do today. Um, with the inserts, I have front squats today, so I'll put these in and then I'll put, do a little review. But as far compared to the old Nike Metcons, they look very good. I like the look of them, I like the feel of them. At first, when I first saw these come out, I didn't really like them, like the look of them. But obviously getting them in the box, I'm liking them. So I'll, I'm going to go train today, I'll give you a review after I've worn them. And we'll see how they feel.
they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. Yeah, see, you eat every day. And food! Pretty good, a lot, comfortable, more, a lot more comfortable than the um, Mekon 4s and the freeze. I once had the freeze. no offence, but they are awful. The Mekon 3s are awful. They're like plastic shoes. Um, then the 4s got better, then the 5s got even better, in my opinion. I feel like because I, both times I've had a size 10, and obviously the material of the old Mekons weren't so good, whereas this time, I love the material, I love the style. And also, like you feel more stable on the floor. I know, I feel like the shape of the sole on this one is slightly different, not too much different, but it feel more sturdy. Like today I did um did the front squats, tried the, did the, did it with the heels and also um heels in insert sorry. Did the power snatches, uh, power snatches all right. Um with the front squats with the inserts it obviously just kind of imitates uh, Olympic weightlifting shoe kind of as not as but not as much so you can like walk around with them without them being too. Um, like extreme in the um, this in the millimeters, so this is a I don't know how many millimeters insert it is eight millimeters. So I found it eight millimeter insert. I think most lifters are like sixteen to twenty, twenty four. I think so. Obviously, with the insert of the shoe, Metcon's being a neutral shoe, um, they are pretty good. Um, not many downfalls. Probably nothing real. Oh good. So whilst I'm doing this review video, I thought I'd show people what I usually get in my pro my protein um shoot my protein um order. Minus a few little things. So look at the strength. One kilograms of peanut butter. Essential omega freeze. And I've actually looked into more uh, vitamins and stuff like that. Um, 87 multivitamin. I got a little shaky because I somehow lost one and then I realised when I went to my cousin's to set their house, so I had to buy myself my own. Just got a little one because I don't really need the big ones, I just have a little shake. And then. What the fuck is this? I don't think I actually ordered this. Zim. 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 Zim Sterine. I think I ordered this. I ordered like this special edition one. But I don't think I don't think this is it. Nope. I ordered a different one, but I don't think this is it. They've given me this crazy stuff. I don't know, they might have been this one, but oh well. So some of that. And I thought because I keep eating a lot of shit, shitty food, I always get some maltodextrin, which is carbohydrates. And what I always usually get is vitamin D3 for absorption of the sunlight and also helps with absorption of minerals uh, and then also at the competition <laughs> I was at a competition at the weekend on Saturday at our CrossFit gym Rock CrossFit Rotherham we had a um, Forge Fitness competition and in the goodie bag I got ZMA, Zinc, Magnesium and B6 Hydrochloride so obviously Zinc and Magnesium obviously there's a lot of research I use a lot for my like supplements stuff like that I look on examine.com there's a lot of um, good research on there and also 
if you actually look into the supplement, some some you need, some you see find beneficial. I also have creatine monohydrate. I've been having that for years, and I've been using my protein creatine monohydrate for years. I think probably since 2015, 16. So just over four years, and I've always stuck to it. So ZMA, zinc, magnesium, and the other thing. But zinc and magnesium are good for uh, recovery and sleep. So I have it like 30 minutes to an hour before sleep. Uh, with water and then knock myself out because I used to be what, uh, someone that was awful at sleeping it used to take me like an hour but obviously over time I've got better and better I've set of um, research on little things to do and now I sleep like a little baby thankfully and uh, that's it yeah see ya woman I cry. no woman no cry I'm actually gonna open this See what it smells like because so I looked on the internet, I typed in the name, it actually means cinnamon star, so I think it's the right one.